Hi everybody. Today I thought I would do a video for you on measurements. So you can see I have some measuring spoon or cups in front of uh, the camera here. I'm going to make it a little smaller. There we go. You can see them really well now. So I have a one cup measure. I have a half cup measure, a one third cup measure, and a one quarter cup measure. So many times a recipe might say they need to put in two cups of flour. Perfect. You can take your one cup scoop and you can fill it twice and dump them into your bowl and you've got the flour you need for your recipe. Some recipes might say you need a quarter of a cup of maybe cocoa powder. Let's say it's cocoa powder. You can pick up your one quarter cup measure and fill it and dump that into your bowl. Something really cool um, about measuring cups that I was uh, shown by my good friend Courtney from OTEC is... When you look at the cup and you can see the measurement says one quarter cup, that says one over four. So if I use my quarter cup measure to make one cup, it's saying I would need four of the one quarter cups to make one full cup. So I could use this measure. Whoa. I could use this measure, the quarter cup measure, four times to equal one cup. Okay. The next size is one third cups. So often a recipe will say they want one and one third cups of sugar. So you could take your one cup measure and your one third cup measure and you could fill each one and you would have enough for your recipe. Again on the one third cup measure you can see it says one over three one third of a cup and if I could not find my measuring cup for a full cup, I could use this third cup measure three times to make one full cup. So going back to our example of a recipe needs one and one third cups of sugar, how many of the one third cup measures would I need to have enough sugar for my recipe? So remember, it's asking for one full cup and a third cup. Three will equal one, plus one scoop of this is one third of a cup. So I would need four of these to make the right amount. Then there is the half cup measure. And the half cup measure is exactly half of what you would get in a one cup measuring cup. So two of these, two half cup measures, again, would equal our full cup measure. Okay, so there, if I couldn't find my one cup measure or it was dirty because I'm baking, I could use my half cup measure two times to get one full cup. Okay, so there's our measuring cups. I hope you enjoyed the video.